Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Turfway Park Report for Thursday, December 1st, 2016. Nine live races on the card. The poly track is fast. The first race is a claiming event for the boys, which have never won two. The claiming price five thousand dollars. They'll go five and a half furlongs. Scratch numbers four, eight, and ten. Heavy favorite number twelve. He's a dandy candy. And they're off. And the favorite, he's a dandy candy. Broke well. Also through between horses. It's Abram Paso. Down the inside, Hello of Glory, and closest to the rail is Ransom Love. So it's a hot and contested pace. There's about six of them within three and a half lengths, but it's Ransom Love who has cleared, being ridden to keep pace right alongside is Hall O' Glory. The gray is the favorite. He's a dandy candy who's racing in third position while in the clear. Then a link for the back. Abron Paso rides the rail there in fourth, about to be passed by SS Astonishment as the field makes their entrance into the turn. The opening quarter was timed in 22 and 3. It's Ransom Love and Ty Kennedy shows them up top. In the middle, Hall of Glory. Here comes the favorite looping up to the outside. He's a dandy candy and about the five path and running on from the back. Both Indy Rhythm and Ben Catton around as they straighten for the stretch run. It's Ransom Love, but the favorite, he's a dandy candy, bearing down to the outside. One sixteenth left for Ransom Love, but he's a dandy candy, just went right on by. And he's a dandy candy for the Doug Danner Barn, is going to not disappoint as the even money favorite. Late charge from Indy Rhythm to be second. Ransom Love, the pace setter, was third tight for fourth, 104 and two. Number 12, he's a dandy candy, stalks the pace and runs down the pace setter late to win going away for Doug Danner, owners Tom Beckheffer and Jerry Geisey. The favorite, number 12, he's a dandy candy, returns 420, 260, 240. Second was the 9, Indy Rhythm. Third, number 1, the Ransom's Love. And fourth, the 11, Ben Catton around. The win in Exacto was 12 and 9, that returned $27. The Trifecta, $120.40. And the Super, $770.60. Running time for the opener, 104 and 4 fifth seconds. Tonight's second race is a claiming event for the boys that haven't won a race since last December. They'll go one mile, scratch 1, 11, 13, and 14. The morning line favorite due to those scratches was number 5, Cozy Kitten. And bug boy P.D. Prentice looking to sweep the early Daily Double. Rally Cox. They are off. And the starter caught him in a perfect line. It's our bailiwick being hustled on out. There goes he's a cut above is going to try to clear, but being a kept on a spy, silent secret through from the middle, happy fella in Rue. Well bunched and some bumping back in the middle there. I think happy fella might have took the worst of it as their midpoint through that clubhouse turn. It's our bailiwick. Shows him up top. He's a cut above. Right alongside these two duke it out early as they pass the six for long marker to straighten up on the back stretch. They're four lengths clear of a Rue who rides the rail in third. Silent secret right to that side in fourth and a separation of about six or seven lengths back to once in my lifetime who was two in front of happy fella going for a run on the middle of the track the favorite cozy kitten has about 12 lengths to find he's one in front of imagine that mom and the two trailers are ghost chapel and charlie st gold the first quarter was 23 seconds flat the half mile timed out 46 and a two so tepid pace up front for our bailiwick. He's a cut above, being ridden to keep pace. Here comes Rue, gears up to the outside. Separation of two to silent secret. And then a link for the back. Here comes the favorite cozy kitten has switched to the middle of the track and it's absolutely full of run outside the quarter pole. Up top, it's our bailiwick. He's a cut above. Now Rue turns the pressure up, set to go four wide. The favorite cozy kitten, yellow cap, as they straighten for the stretch drive. Once in my lifetime, saved all the ground by the 316 bow. Once in my lifetime. Here's a Magic Matt Mom presents a challenge between horses. Rue to the outside. A cozy kitten, wide open deep stretch. Imagine that Mom's found the front. Rue resurging to the outside, down towards the line. Photo finish that went to Imagine That Mom, I believe, just over Rue. Then came Once in My Lifetime, Cozy Kitten, a favorite, was fourth, 138 flat, the running time. Driving finish in race two, number seven, Imagine That Mom, emerges from between horses and gets up right on the square to win for owner-trainer Monica Crewman, $30.40, 1260 and 520 Number three, Rue, a game second. Third, number 10, Once in My Lifetime. And fourth, number five, Cozy Kitten. The 7-3 exacta, 260-160. The trifecta for a dollar, 2,933.20. Superfecta for a $2 wager, $9,778.80. The early daily double combination of 12 and 7 
returns $52.80. Running time for race two, 138 flat. Today's third race is a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares. Never won two. The claiming price $5,000. They'll go one mile. Early scratches of number 8, 13, and 14. The morning line favorite from the Ben Colbrook Stable, number 10, Secret Trick with Ty Kennedy. And they're off. It's Sunday Look, who's quickest out, but there goes Secret Trick up to contest the pace. And down on the inside, there's several horses had to check there as Secret Trick came down and tapping on the brakes Sunday. Look, Miss Del Star and Miss Liz, a favorite, were all affected as their midpoint through the opening stages. But up top, it is Hang On Annie who shows the way. Ready Money right there in second, a length for the back. It's a true vision in third. Secret Trick, the class chopper, is fourth as they straighten up for the backstretch run. A length in front of the favorite Ms. Liz has recovered to be fifth. She's only three and a half lengths off the pace. And two in front of Miss Delstar, who races in the clear just to the outside of Sunday Look. A length and a half further back suits my fancy. Out in the center of the track, races in the clear. A length for the back to Patsy M. And at the tail of affairs, Scrammy can see them all. 23 and 2, the time for the opening quarter of the half mile clicked out in 47 and 1. So it's Hang On Annie, shows him up top. Here comes Ms. Liz Prescott sitting like a statue and getting to her with every stride as they're just by the 3 8 pole. So still, Hang On Annie has been on a clear and uncontested lead thus far. Ms. Liz now the whips out. Here comes Secret Trick revving up to the outside. Down to the inside is a true vision. And Suits My Fancy is beginning to uh, kick it into top gear. Three quarters, one, twelve, and four. And they're on their way home. Hang On Annie drifts out into the path of Secret Trick. Miss Lifts dives down toward the inside. A true vision down along the inside. Fourth late run from Sunday looking. Suits My Fancy. Deep stretch. Hang On Annie has just been inhaled by Secret Trick trying to re rally hang on Annie, but Secret Trick just too good. Secret Trick wins it by about a length and a half in the end. Hang on Annie was second. Third goes to Ms. Liz. Late charge from the back of the pack. Patsy M finished fourth. Hold all tickets. The inquiry sign has been posted. Number 10, Secret Trick hit the wire first, but there was a steward's inquiry into the first turn run. Number 10, Secret Trick came down, impeding several horses and was placed 10th. So moving up to the win, original second place finisher, number 11, Hang On Annie, was declared the winner. Hang On Annie, owned by Brian Michael and Alan Tindenbaum, ridden by Didier Osorio. The winner pays $780, $463.20. Finishing second, officially, number two, Ms. Liz. Third was a six, Patsy M. And fourth, a seven, Suits My Fancy. 11 2, 6, 7 was the official order of finish after that DQ. The prices for the exacta was $41, the try 226 even. The Daily Double, 7 and 11, $184. Superfecta, $843.40. And the Pick 3 was worth $166.70. Running time for that third race, 139 and one fifth second. They are rough. Gule Asade broke in a tangle, but it was a clean beginning for Java's drumbeat. Expedition beginning for It's All About That Base as well. Up to the outside, here comes Bourbon Grace. She sells Sanctuary right to that one's outside. These three are linked in front of It's All About That Base, who's taken in hand in fourth. As I charge, in Perry Utes is fifth mid-pack, about six and a half off the pace. Then a link for the back to Blame the Dream. The favorite has seven and a half links to find. Vule Aswa is last of them all. First quarter, 23 and three. So it's Java's drum beat and she sells sanctuary. Lead him up the back stretch charge in front by a length and a half as I charge. Race into close up second. The favorite, Blame the Dream, is inching all the way up into fourth. She's about two and a half lengths off the pace. Gonna have to try to get off that fence there as Java's drum beat's backing right up into her. A length for the back. It's all about that base and underway from the back of the pack. Here comes 16 time starter land as the half mile timed out 47 and two. So it's Sea Shell Sanctuary has shaken off Java's jump beat as I charge his third. Here comes the favorite, Blame Dream, uh, in moving between horses and up wide for the drive. It's all about that base. As the complexion of the races changes, she sells Sanctuary, going out towards the track kitchen, leaving the rail open for Blame the Dream, and Blame the Dream comes right on through. Blame the Dream with three sixteenths of the left has the lead by a length. Here comes Land diving down towards the inside. It's either Blame the Dream or Land. Wide seven eighths in one twenty five and four, and Blame the Dream at three to five is going to get it done here. Blame the Dream on the class drop is going to win by about six in the end. Land was second, then came It's All About That Base, and she sells Sanctuary, faded to fourth, 138 and three.
The favorite number four, Blaine the Dream, was stalked the pace, allowed to settle on the backside, and made a big run through the turn and to win, going away on the class drop for owner Connor Murphy in Riverside Bloodstock. Julie Burke was the one aboard for the winning ride. 340, 240, 220. Second was number three, Land. Third, number five, It's All About That Base. And fourth, the eight, She Sells Sanctuary. The Super, 528, 20. The Pick 3, 168, 20. Trifecta, 29.80. The Exacta, $22.80. The Daily Double came back $15.80. Claim the Dream covered the mile in a winning time of 138 and 3 fifths seconds. Tonight's fifth race, a claiming event for the maiden Phillies and Mares. They'll go five and a half furlongs, no program changes. Heavy favorite, number three, Directioner with the bug boy, P.E. Prentice. And they're off. And gift of friends broke like a shot. Fast beginning for Directioner. And now Directioner will take over and assume command. Oropa racing up to the outside of that one. A link for the back to the pair of Swedish Flower. And gift of friends is... Backpedal in there into fifth as Little Shimmy just went by her, as did Tyrannus Edith Stahl, and way out at the back of the pack is Selburn Sally. Up the backside they go and head into that far turn in Oropa, the Indiana bred, who took all the early money, has cleared off and opens up midpoint through the turn by two. Directioner, the favorite, could not keep pace. Little Shimmy running on from the back. And then comes Swedish Flower. But at the top of the lane, it's Aropa, the three-year-old daughter of Mondavi, is going to go by the quarter pole with a six-link cushion. Little Shimmy attacking to the outside. A link further back, down on the inside. Directioner and Gift of Friends at two to one has a lot of work to do. Meanwhile, Aropa opening up by the 16th pole. Aropa and Tommy Pompel in front by seven, in front by eight. Gift of Friends is going to run up to be in a photo with Little shimmy but Oropa bet down from 15 to 1 wins by 6. Gift of Friends was second, Little Shimmy third, a Starship Adventure flew to be fourth, 105 and 2. Ladies and gentlemen, hold all tickets. The inquiry sign has been posted. Number four, Oropa took command about the half mile pole and was never challenged after that. One going away by better than six. Tommy Pompel was in the irons for Cindy Huber. The winner, 11 20, 480, 540. Finishing second was number eight, Gift of Friends. Third, number six, Little Shimmy. Fourth, the 1A Starship Adventure. There was a steward's inquiry involving number one, Starship Lucy, concerning that action at the starting gate, but she was given a fair chance, thus no change. The Exacta, 3560. The Trifecta, $228. Daily Double, four and four, 2360. The Dime Super, $89.30. The pick four, 2,888.20, and the pick five was hit for 50 cents, $2,704 and some change. Running time for the fifth race, 105 and 2. Tonight's sixth event is a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares, which have not won a race since last December 1st. They'll go six furlongs, late scratches of 4, 7, and 14. The morning line favorite from the Sue Anderson Barn, number two, VCF Proud Mary. They're all online. And they're off. Poor beginning for Scoot and Mary, but a fast start for Jazzy Kathy, who came out running. Through from the inside, the favorite VCF Proud Mary racing along in second. Out wide there is Show Me the Touch in third. Down on the inside, it's Pretty Hot Princess, who came away in the fourth position, a length in front of My Italian Posh. Then a separation of two to Judge Beth, be now being passed by Nasty Girl Blues, the horse that drew in off the AE way out there wide. Then a link for the back to Little Bit Cranky, one in front of Hope to Shine, then two back to the trailer, Scoot and Mary and Princess Zenyi. The first quarter mile timed out in 22 seconds flat, and it's Jazzy Kathy in Orlando Mojica shows the way up top in front by two. VCF Proud Mary against the rail in second. To the her outside comes Pretty Hot Princess who starts to turn the pressure up there. Half mile in 45 and 1 and they turn for the money. It's Jazzy Kathy in a confident Orlando Mojica. Shows them by the 316th pole a link to the good. VCF Proud Mary to her inside. A link for the back to Pretty Hot Princess and running on from the back Nasty Girl Blues. 116th left for Jazzy Kathy. VCF Proud Mary is trying to get to her but the inside it's Jazzy Kathy Kathy trying to hold VC Proud Mary and Jazzy Kathy coast to coast to win it by a half a side. VCF Proud Mary was second, Pretty Hot Princess third, and Nasty Girl Blues finished fourth in 110 and four.
Number nine, Jazzy Kathy, fast out of the gate and never looked back. Took him wire to wire under Orlando Mojica for Gennaro Garcia. The winner as the favorite returns five dollars, three twenty, and three dollars. Finishing second, the two VCF Proud Mary. Third, number eight, Pretty Hot Princess, and fourth, thirteen Nasty Girl Blues. The exact of nine and two, twenty six dollars. The one dollar try, ninety dollars and sixty cents. The four nine double, fifty dollars. 80 cents. Superfect and 92813 for a $2 bet, $554.20. And the pick three, four, four, nine, returns $160 for a $2 wager. Race six, timed out in 110 and four. Tonight's seventh race, a claimant event. Not winners of three claimers, $7,500. The claimant tag will go six and a half for longs. Morning line favorite at 7 to 5, number 6, Jumbo Jet with Perry Oots. They are off. Fast beginning for The Last Disciple. Also expeditious beginning for Homegrown Hero. Aptly away as well through from between horses comes Jarbo. And Lock and Load bids up between those two. And these four are length and a half. In front of Langtains, who's away in fifth. Separation of a link to Jumbo Jet. And then the two trailers are Enlisted Man and Bellamy's Verdict at the back of the pack. But a compact field as they race up the back stretch, approaching a half mile pole. There's six links from top to bottom. First quarter mile, 23 seconds flat. To the outside, Jarbo back on the poly shows the way in front by a length. Homegrown Hero, fast to start, but faster retreating as Langtangs just went by on that one. The Last Disciple is fourth as they're midpoint through the turn. So up top, it's Jarbo. Here comes a bid from Langtangs to pressure to the outside. Separation of four. Back to a Homegrown Hero who's moonwalking along the rail and running on to the outside. Here comes Bellamy's Verdict as they're into the stretch. It's Langtang up to the outside of Jarbo. Jarbo is resilient as they come as so far has turned back Langtangs. But down the center, here here comes Enlisted Man, and Enlisted Man is the danger to Jarbo. One sixteenth left for Jarbo. Time is running out for Enlisted Man, and Jarbo is going to hold. Jarbo back on the poly, returns to form, and wins by about a half a length in the end. Enlisted Man was second, laying things third, tight for fourth in 117 and four. Number four, Jarbo returns to the poly track and reverses his form back to his winning ways. Number four, Jarbo, owned and trained by Rick Jordan. Gabe Lagunas was aboard for the winning ride. Number four, Jarbo returns his backers 1840, 760, 360. Second was the two enlisted man, third one Langtans, and fourth number five Bellamy's verdict. The exacta was worth eighty six forty. The try three hundred twenty two dollars even. Superfecta one thousand twenty nine dollars. Pick three one hundred seventy three dollars seventy cents for a fifty cent wager, and the daily double of nine and four returns forty one dollars and forty cents. Running time for Jarbo one seventeen and four. Tonight's eighth and featured race is a maiden special weight for the Phillies and Mares to go a mile and 16th. On a fast poly, scratch the three, Princess Ember, jockey change for the 13 trade show to a Bell Moscano. Morning line favorite number five from the Mike Maker Barn, Chant for Kitten. They are racing. Trade show broke outwardly, leaving the starting gate unseated the rider. Fast beginning through from between horses comes Cash Tis Wonderful, also the favorite chant for Kitten, away in good order to the inside. As they race into the clubhouse turn, a link for the back to comes Oh Hecka, right to that one's outside is Sky High Sugar. Down the inside, the Bonnie Samurai saving all the ground, spun out wide, Sniffling has three horses beat. They are Miss Sammy, Cha Cha Time, and Torangel is at the back of the pack. The first quarter mile, 23 and 1. So it's Cash Tis Wonderful, shows them up the back stretch in front by a length. The favorite, Chant for Kitten, races in second, just to the inside of Timido, who's third. They're only linked off the lead. Separation of four back to Oheka, spying on the top three from about five lengths off the pace. And a length in front of Sky High Sugar, who's similar margin, back to uh, the Bonnie Samurai. And then a separation of about seven or eight lengths back to Snippling. And five more still to Cha-Cha Time and Tourangel as the field makes their entrance into the turn. 
46 and 3 fifths seconds for the half mile for Cash Tis Wonderful. Timido races to the inside. Here comes Oheka looping up to the outside, racing in third. Two lengths for the back. Here comes Sky High Sugar starting to make real good progress midpoint through the turn. And Miss Sammy gaining good momentum up the rail. The favorite chant for Kitten, not today, as they come to the top of the stretch. And Cash Tis Wonderful still there. Cash Tis Wonderful with three sixths left to go has a two length cushion. Oheka bids up to the outside, to the inside. Timido down the center of the track is Snippling. One sixteenth left for Cash is wonderful. Oheka lunging. Here comes Snippling from absolutely nowhere, but Cash Tiz wonderful walks the dog. Another one for Pompel on the front end wins by two and a half. Snippling was second. Oheka was third. Tight for fourth between Timido and uh, Sky High Sugar. Number six, Cash Tiz wonderful. With the slight upset, takes some wire to wire under Tom Pompel for trainer Dennis Roberson. Number six, Cash Tiz wonderful. Fourteen forty, seven forty. And four dollars. Second number twelve, Snippling. Third the eight, Oheka. And fourth the seven, Timido. The exacta was worth three hundred sixty-seven dollars forty cents. The trifecta one thousand one hundred eighty dollars ten cents. Daily double eighty-six dollars. The superfecta ten thousand eight hundred thirty-seven dollars and eighty cents. Running time for the eighth event one forty-five flat. Tonight's ninth and final is a claiming event for the boys to go six and one half for long. Scratch both also eligible. It's the morning line favorite, number 12, Condestable, most recent winner at Churchill, being claimed there, David Ashcraft, the new trainer. And they're off. Aka Pesky's the first to show. Also quick into stride, Billy White Shoes. Arctic Sky is going to be a pace presence. And through from the inside comes Bobby V. Up on the outside, drifting win. The 14-time winner is next. The length in front of Billy White Shoes as they race up the back stretch past the 5 8 mile pole. Then a link for the back. Bulls of boys just to the inside of the favorite Condessible, who's racing mid-pack about seven links off the lead. Valiant Tenenbaum, the 19-time winners, racing six links in front of the Green Cougar. And going for a run way wide is awfully clever. And Houston Fire is last of the lot. That's the 12 of them. They went the opening quarter in 22 and 2. And they're chasing strong response. Here comes Aka Pesky with a bid up to the... Outside here, three links for the back. Arctic Sky is being ridden to keep pace outside the quarter pole. Going three wide there, Billy White Shoes making good progress. Bobby V punching up between runners is going to try to save all the ground as Strong Response drifts well off the rail. Bobby V uh, taking advantage of the inside passage. Also, Valent Tenenbaum is going to get his seam. So, Bobby V returns a favor, opens a fence for Valent Tenenbaum, and down the center of the track, Billy White Shoes is white. Blinkers has found the front. One sixteenth left, Billy White Shoes, but it's Bobby V resurging. Here's the Green Cougar from last, but Bobby V and Julie Burke with a riding double. Number three, Bobby V takes advantage of the rail opening turning for home, and that proved the decisive move as number three, Bobby V, holds off all chargers to win $17,765.80. Second was number two, the Green Cougar. Third, number seven, Arctic Sky. Fourth, nine, Billy White Shoes. And finishing fifth, number four, Valiant Tenenbaugh. The pick four, $2,093.50. The $2 super, $49,338.80. The daily double came back $123.20. The late pick three, $446.50. Consolation pick three with the late scratch of the two in the eighth race, $57.20. No winners in the super high five. Carry over there, $1,086.60. $66. The 3 2 exacta, three, $234.80. $234.80 for that exacta. Well, folks, that wraps up live racing here on Thursday at Turfway Park. Live racing resumes tomorrow, Friday, with a first post of 615. This has been the Turfway Park Report.